Hey y'all, it is me. I'm back again. Happy New Year. Happy 2018. I cannot believe that this year is already here. The year 2018 just sounds so uh, like futuristic. Like we should be flying in outer space by now. But I'm still in my Dodge journey. I don't know how that happened. But 2017 was a good year. I'm hoping that 2018 will be even better, and I hope you all are having a great New Year so far. Our New Year's Eve was very low-key. We had some sparklers with the kids, and um, I think we watched a movie and kissed at midnight and went to bed. <laughs> We're very cool and exciting people. Anyways, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I just wanted to sit down and chat with you about some of the my favorite products from the past year. They are mostly not new products from the year, but they are just the products that I repeatedly picked up and repeatedly used and were just kind of like mainstays in my life throughout the whole year. So I'm going to try to roll through it real quick because it's already 3 o'clock and I told myself I'd be done with this at 3.30. And by the looks of all the stuff I have to talk about, I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to go really fast. I just want to say if you notice my nails are jacked. I didn't have time to paint my nails. Forgive me. Anyways, I'm going to start off with my two favorite skincare products from this year. You've uh, probably heard me talk about at least one of them multiple times. Um, earlier in the year I did a sponsored blog post with Neutrogena and the we got to pick anything from their line. It wasn't like they specifically told me that I needed to talk about one thing. I chose to blog about their gel products. and. I have since been obsessed. The first is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. I love this to wash my face with at night. It completely removes all of your makeup. There's no need to go in with the makeup remover first. There's no need for micellar water. You just do this. Just wash it all off. It takes off every ounce of makeup. After I do that, I'll usually tone with, you know, some kind of pore minimizing toner just to Make sure I've really gotten deep into the pores and removed any of the excess bacteria or oil. And then I go in with this guy, which I know you've heard me talk about a few times. It is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. I didn't notice that. I, this is like my second bottle, so I'm wondering if the first one I had was for extra dry skin too. I don't know. I still love it. Um, I do not have dry skin actually. I would say my skin is normal to oily, depending on the time of year. Um, but this has hyaluronic acid in it, it is very lightweight, it's a gel consistency so it doesn't feel like you're putting a heavy cream on, it won't break you out, um, it's just the perfect amount of moisture. I want to talk about one other body product which I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about because the price per ounce is absolutely ridiculous. I do not recommend that anyone just go out and buy this because they want it. But if you have a big event coming up, a wedding or, I don't know, a photo shoot or something, the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan Body Blur is so good. I think it's about $50 for this teeny tiny little bottle. But it is a gorgeous um, instant tan. It's not a self-tanner. It's like basically like body paint. But you put it on, it doesn't transfer on your clothes, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't streak, it just gives you this super tan, beautiful glow. So I bought this to use in pictures occasionally whenever I want to have a more like, kind of, I don't know, beachy, summery look. But I wanted to mention, mention it because when I was getting married, I wanted something like this. And I think I bought the Lorac Tantalizer which is a really great product, but this is so much better. So, you know, brides, if you're looking for something like this, I would go with this one. Next, I'm going to talk about foundations. I'm skipping over primers because I have yet to find, like, the primer. I've kind of just been bouncing around all year with a bunch of different ones. The foundations that I've been loving the most, and you'll be able to tell because these bottles are so beat up. Three of them are drugstore. One of them is... Not especially expensive, but it's not a drugstore. So that one would be the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. It's a foundation and a concealer in one. I this The only shade I have on hand right now is much too dark for me. So I only wear this in the summertime when I'm super tan. But every time I wear it, people ask me what foundation I'm wearing. I'm not joking. 
and um, that doesn't happen very often but this is so good it is full coverage if you want something lightweight you're not gonna want this but it covers up every imperfection it just like gives you this flawless finish I love it definitely check this out I need to buy a lighter color so I can start wearing it again the next three are drugstores this one is not new it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi healthy luminous makeup I'm pretty sure this has been around for a while but this is the I just threw this in here because I've been using this one for the last month this is the one I've been picking up I don't know if it's because it currently matches my skin tone the best or what it is really but I just like that it's kind of lightweight it's not super heavy it does give you a nice glowy look without being oily and it's a drugstore price Plus, it's from the True Match line, so there should be a bunch of different shades for every skin color, even within one person. I have like 20 different skin colors throughout the year, so um, check this out if you've never tried it before. These two did come out within the last two years. Um, this bottle is embarrassing, but it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This is in Creamy Vanilla, which I think is their lightest shade. I don't know if they have a 00, zero shade. This is zero 01. It's the lightest one I can ever find. And it's still too dark, which, you know, that's understandable. But um, it's a really good concealer. It is kind of like the drugstore version of this Clinique one. It's the same two in one concept of a foundation and a concealer. So it's very, um, very full coverage. But it gives you a beautiful finish on your face. It's not cakey. I absolutely love this one. And then this one, I wanted to put in here because it's so freaking cheap. I think it's less than $5. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, I have it in, what is this, light, medium, neutral, buff, bisque. But it's a really good foundation. Their huge claim to fame on the back is that there's no flashback. Although I don't necessarily know that that's anything I struggle with in my foundations. Um... I think they just did this because at the time that they released this, that was like the thing that people are constantly talking about on YouTube. Oh, there's no flashback. There's no flashback. So I think that was kind of their gimmick with this. Um, personally, because I have no social life, no one's taking pictures of me after night. I never have a flash on my face. So I wear this all the time and I love it. And it um, is, like I said, super cheap. It's a nice amount of coverage. It comes with this little like spatula thing. Um, Really good. Definitely worth the money, obviously. Worth more. I would pay like 8 or $9 for this, which isn't a lot, but you know what I mean? Like, I would pay double the price. This guy I've been using for about 20 years. This is missing because it just fell to the ground. I've always used this for contouring and bronzing um, these bottom shades. I'll actually kind of just mix them through a lot. Lately I've been using this yellow shade a lot under my eye to kind of brighten me up a little bit. If you're looking for a palette with like a range of shades and you don't want to spend $50, this is a really good option. So I, this is my third compact like this and I'm already down to the pan. It's a cream bronzer by Sonia Kashuk. Um, it's called the Undetectable Cream Bronzer, and it truly is. If you saw the video where Jamie did my makeup, which I will link up in one of these corners, he first went to put it on, and it was like this heavy kind of like orange look, and he was like, why would you want to wear that? But as soon as you start blending, it just melts into your skin, and it is undetectable. It does not look like you have on a bronzer. It's just beautiful, very natural. Um, you can just do this on its own and like kind of pat down your face a little bit with some powder and you're good to go for the day or you can layer an extra powder contour on top of it if you're into that kind of thing but if you're looking for a natural bronzing contouring type thing definitely check this out you can get at Target this guy I've talked about five million times and I still stand by it it is from Rimmel it comes in a couple different shades this one is the coral glow shade it comes with a very beautiful and natural highlighter it's got like a really soft buttery feel to it then you have a bronzer which does have a tiny bit of a sheen to it but it's not glitter and you're not gonna really notice it on the skin and then a really beautiful coral muted blush this whole palette the reason I love it so much is because it's so natural looking and so easy and it's a good price point and it has everything you need in one little kit so definitely check that out um, this is new and this is a luxury item because I think it runs for about 50 bucks this is sent to me by Rodeal 
pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. It's a very cool toned matte bronzer. Um, when I first got it, it wasn't necessarily something that I thought I would use. Um, I thought it might look kind of dirty on my skin and you know how when you kind of like do a little bit of too much of the wrong color, you end up looking like you have like a patch of dirt right there. That's what I was expecting with this. Um, but it's not like that at all. It does blend really beautifully into the skin. I use it very often. I especially use it to contour my nose. So if you're looking for a high-end contour, check this one out. The case itself is amazing with like the leather detailing. I love it. This one, actually, this is old school in the Mary Luminizer. I've had this before and I have since used a bunch of other things and then recently I won a giveaway from Angel at Dashing Darling and this is one of the things that came in the mail and I remembered how much I love it. It's a nice champagne shade. It's really beautiful, very easy to blend out. It's like a standard. Definitely recommend this. Moving right along, I'm going to go into eyes. I don't have to say too much about this bad boy. If you ever watch YouTube, you know about this. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I absolutely love this because it is a all-in-one palette. Can you see I have a two-year-old? You're never going to need another palette for this. You can create a million different looks. Very, You can do very subtle, very natural, where to work. You can do a look for Burning Man or Coachella. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have everything you need in here. The only thing that you won't find is a matte white bone color, but I truly don't use those very often, and I will just use these two kind of like shimmery cream shades. These two get a lot of use for me on the daily, and then I'm always in this red space right here. So it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Definitely recommend it. I think you can get it at Ulta now. These things. These were ColourPop's answer to the Stila Magnificent Metals. Um, this shade in particular, what shade is this? The Walk of Fame. This shade in particular, I have kind of a hard time working with it, but once you get it on the eye, it's beautiful. It comes with a doe foot applicator, and I wish it would have been slight, I don't know how, but I just wish it would have been a different application method because I have the hardest time getting it onto the doe foot. Like, I put it in, put it out, and nothing really comes out. If you can manage to get this on the lid, it's gorgeous. I don't have nearly as hard of a time working with this more purpley shade. It is called Moonlit, but they are gorgeous. I um, bought these at the same time that I bought the My Little Pony palette, and we were going to like a local um, artist market fair type thing, and so I had this on with a bunch of the other kind of purpley shades from my Little Pony palette and I literally had multiple people ask me about my eye makeup. Even the lady in the Panda Express drive through <laughs> was like, what's on your eyes? So these are very inexpensive. I can't think of the actual price. I guarantee you they're less than $10. Another item I'm loving is another ColourPop item. This is the Get Paid, Get Paid something. I don't know. I've used it so much that the name has come off. But I use this as an eyeliner. I have it on right now, which you probably can't really see it very well. It's a beautiful copper liner. It goes on just like butter. It's so, so beautiful. Um, so if you're into ColourPop, and if this is still on the website, I probably should have checked before I threw this in my favorites. Look for the Get Paid liner because it's so beautiful. For mascara, Lash Paradise. Everyone talks about this because it's really that good. I wouldn't say this is a lengthening mascara if that's what you're looking for. It's more about giving you great volume for your eyelashes without being clumpy. And it is great. Obviously, there are better setting sprays than this one, the one I'm about to show you. Um, I would suggest if you're really just looking for a good setting spray, get the Urban Decay All Nighter. That's my favorite one. It really does make your makeup last all night. But this one is such a good drugstore setting spray. I'm pretty sure it's got a heavy amount of alcohol in it because you can smell it. But I don't notice any adverse effects from it. I don't notice my skin drying out or anything like that. What I do notice is that it takes away the powdery look of my makeup and it makes my makeup last longer. It really does. It's about four dollars. There's not much to it. I go through at least one of these a month, maybe more. 
I wish they would come out with a bigger bottle so I wasn't like wasting all this plastic but um, it's a really good inexpensive setting spray at the drugstore by Wet n Wild. I think it's the only one they have that looks like this. It's the Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. Everything I have that looks beat up and bruised is because I use all the time and this would be one of those things. It's the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil. It's beautiful. It gorgeous. It, it gorgeous. It, it gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It glides on. It stays on really well. This one doesn't have a name on it, but I'm pretty sure it's honeycomb or it's like the coordinated lip pencil for the honeycomb lipstick. Um, it says it's shade 020. I love it. It's a natural color. You can just put this all over your lips and leave it like that for the whole day. It's great. This has been a standard of mine for the last three years, I think. If I'm in a wedding, this is what I wear. Um, not because it lasts especially long, but just because it's a beautiful, subtle look. It is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Seduction. I do have some of these in different shades, and I truly don't like them as much as this one. This one is just perfect because the very red reds that I have in this line smudge a lot on me, and I'm not into that. Um, I have some from the metallic line, and I'm just kind of in. I feel very like 1990s when I'm wearing those. But this is just a perfect natural pinky nude lip. Definitely check this out. If you are looking for a matte liquid lipstick, this is by the brand Kaylin. And I'm obsessed with this one. It has the best, most comfortable feel on your lips. I wore this like every day when we were in Vegas and it was hot and gross. And I don't know why that would really affect the way my lips feel. But my point being, I love this. It's very comfortable. Um, it feels lightweight and kind of like whippy when you're putting it on. And then it dries down beautifully. It doesn't chip off throughout the day. It wears really well. This is in the shade... What shade might it be in? I don't know. I'm not sure if this shade is Pure Lust or if that's the name of the product, but this says Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint Plus Velvet, and it's by the brand Kaylin. Finally, for a super duper natural, like you don't want to look like you wear anything on your lips, the NYX Fuet Wit Fuete. Um, I tried to find this online recently, and I can only find two shades on Amazon, and I don't know if there only are two shades or not because I can never find it in stores but um, I'll link it down below for you this is in the shade pink cloud which is a really good name because it really feels like a pink cloud on your lips on days when I'm just like even going to the gym if I just want to look like I'm not dead I will put on just a tiny bit of this on my lips and then I'll kind of like smooth it out with my finger or just kind of do that number and it leaves you with a really gorgeous natural looking pink lip I think I'm done talking and I think I never want to talk again. Oh, the one thing that I forgot to mention that I was going to grab but I didn't. For self tan, if you are looking for a self tan that works quick, the Minitan um, Express Ultra Dark, I don't know, I'll link it down below in the description box, is amazing. When you put it on you're going to look like a crazy person because the undertone is like a legitimate black color, like the color black. Um, so you'll look a little bit crazy but the thing about it is it works in an hour. The longer you wear it before washing it off, the darker your tan will be. But after one hour of having it on, you can take a shower, completely wash it off, and it's in your skin. The tan will continue to develop into this beautiful bronzy tan over the next like 24 hours, and it lasts for a long time. Um, the bottle I think is like 30 bucks, but it's a huge bottle. I'm very tall, so I go through body products really quickly, if that makes any sense. And I've had the same bottle of this tan for probably two months and I still have plenty in it. So if you're looking for a really good, quick, fast working self tanning, look up the Minitan one hour express something or other. I will link it for you down below. And that's it. And my back kind of hurts from sitting up straight for so long and I am going to go play with my kids. And I hope you have an awesome afternoon, and I will see you in my next video. If you have any suggestions of things you would like to see, like tutorials, reviews of products, just me talking for no reason, like, let me know. I'd love to get some feedback on that, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Love you. Bye. My hair is dirty. My nails are chipped. I'm super tired.
I know you really want to be taking beauty advice from me.